What there's, are your thoughts on that? There's what I call a stress-resistant personality. I love that. And we're dealing with high um, values of cortisol relief from stress, mm -hmm. adrenaline, norepinephrine, and all of these stress enzymes. Mm -hmm. And once you start getting a situation where you trust God, where you believe that he is going to direct your, your, your pathways. Where you have hope. Where you have hope. Hope is very important. Right. And where you forgive. Yes. I remember telling a friend of mine, you need to write a letter to your dead father. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you're going to mail it, but you need to <laughs> write a letter to your dead father and forgive him. That's right. Not until you forgive him will we be able to address your blood pressure. I'll be able to give a lot of medicines mm -hmm. and it will bring down your blood pressure to normal, but their hypertension, which is due to your brokenness, the unforgiving spirit, that needs to be addressed. So you need to get behind these issues to help people. Get to the cause. You need to get to the cause. And you did mention adrenaline and cortisone. Mm -hmm. These are the stress hormones. When your body is in a state of fight or flight, these hormones are elevated normally to assist you to control the situation. Right. But when these hormones are elevated chronically, then there is a problem. Mm -hmm. High blood pressure, high sugar, joint pain, tachycardia, and even death. Right. So we need to find a place where we can actually relax turn it off, time out, shut it down. That's the only way we're going to have complete wellness. You know, what 